When you get to the dependence section of the online generic application, you should see the list of the added dependents showing here. If you do not see anything here, then this means you have not yet added any dependents to the application. This will need to be done on the principal applicant's profile page before you will see them listed here. For each listed dependent, you would need to click on the Edit button to complete all of their required information. For each dependent, you will be answering questions related to personal details, education and occupation, language, passport, and national identity information. The first four questions are displaying auto-filled responses that were filled in on the principal applicant's profile page. So you will not be able to click on them and make changes here. Just go back to the principal applicant's profile page if you need to initially enter or change the information. If, however, you had indicated on the principal applicant's profile page that this particular dependent will not accompany the principal applicant to Canada, then on this page, you will need to enter in the reason why. You will then need to indicate if the dependent has used any other name. Scrolling down, you will see more information to complete, which is similar to what was asked about the principal applicant. As we mentioned previously with the principal applicant, you may need to enter a zero in the UCI field if the portal continues to show missing information, even though it appears everything has been entered correctly. Remember, the date of birth information is auto-filled based on what was entered for this dependent on the principal applicant's portal page. Question 12 in the guide can be ignored as it does not apply to the online generic application. Scrolling down, you will see where to enter information about this dependent's current status, current country of residence, and any other previous countries they have lived for more than six months. If they answered yes, that they have lived elsewhere, then you would need to provide additional information here. There is an option to add another country if they have lived in multiple places. However, you should ensure that you start with the most recent place and work backwards in time and make sure that there are no gaps in time. So for example, if the person lived in Afghanistan until March 15, 2000, then they would need to enter in the starting date here for Turkey as March 16, 2000, so as not to leave a gap in time. Scrolling down now, you will see where to enter this dependent's marital and relationship status. Select their status from the drop-down box and enter the date. As before, you will need to go back to the principal applicant's profile page to edit the name, date of birth, or relationship to the principal applicant. And this part of the guide can be ignored because it does not apply to the online generic application form. The last question for this section, choose yes or no if they have been in a previous marriage or common law relationship. And if yes, you will have to provide that information. The education and occupation section is the same as we're asked for the principal applicant. Refer to the guide for additional information on how to fill out the education questions, as well as the occupation questions. The language details section is straightforward and again, referred to the guide. And for the passport, you should have no problem understanding what to fill out here. Now, when it comes to the national ID section, again, just a reminder that randomly, the system may not let you save a no response. So simply enter in some mock information and upload a letter of explanation. And if you find that the national ID does not have an expiry date, simply enter in 300101. Now that you have completed the information for the first dependent, you will see a green completed bar. And you can now move on to edit any remaining dependents listed here. If, however, you still see a yellow missing information status, simply go back in and edit the UCI question to enter in a zero. Once you have finished with each dependent and the status is showing a Greek completed bar, 
click on the button to complete and return to the application.